All right, so today I'm gonna to be trying a product called Explode. Uh, this stuff's main purpose is to deter deer and other wildlife from harming soybeans. You can also spray it on young saplings or flower beds, whatever. It basically has a really strong, I can smell it right now, really strong garlic smell. And you spray it on the plants and it also makes the plants taste bad. And uh, basically it only lasts anywhere from a week to two weeks, maybe even three weeks if you have it heavy enough. And uh, this stuff, you're supposed to mix it I was talking to someone over the phone and the best um, the best amount is uh, about a quart per acre and you mix that with five to ten gallons somewhere in that range you could this stuff is all organic you could throw it right in the plants straight and it wouldn't harm it he said so basically a quart per acre and a quart per five gallons is the best that what you want and hopefully that'll last two to three weeks and uh, by that time the soybeans will be out of uh, out of the most vulnerable stage, but they'll still be getting chewed on. So I might have to re reapply it a second time. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. And uh, I'll update you after maybe a week or two weeks and see if there's any deer browse in any of the plots. I'm gonna be spraying this stuff here, and I'm gonna be spraying it at home on another soybean food plot. They're both about the same size. That one up there is probably mm, almost a half acre, and the other one at home is about a half acre, so they're pretty small plots and they will get browsed on pretty badly if I don't spray this stuff, so let's try it out. All right, so here I am back at the soybean food plot here. Um, this is about a little over a week after I sprayed the Explode. It's supposed to last two to three weeks, but we had a heck of a lot of rain and I'm seeing a little bit of browse on these soybeans, but not really that much. So either the, the deer are not feeding here or the stuff actually worked. I, I don't really know. I know in previous years our beans have been browsed on and then they kind of re rebound. But uh, these ones don't look too bad. So either the stuff worked or they just didn't feed here. I was in one of our other bean plots that I didn't spray because it was too small before I left to go to Canada. And that one's got a little more browse than this one. So maybe the stuff did actually work. but. What I'm doing today, as you can tell, it's just it's just a, a weed field. You can see the beans in here are kind of getting overtaken by the weeds. So what I'm going to do today is I'm spraying this with glyphosate, and I actually mixed in some more uh, Explode with the glyphosate. Are. This is a couple days after I sprayed the grass and all these weeds are starting to die off and you can start to see the soybean rows once again whereas before I sprayed it was just all green you couldn't even tell where the beans were really so this looks pretty good. Now with all this competition out of here these beans should really jump up and grow fast. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of deer browse in here. This one's nipped off. That leaf is gone. But uh, overall, I'm not seeing a ton, but uh, I kind of expected that after I sprayed because well, that could have been before I sprayed, I'm not really sure. It was only a couple days ago. But now that I sprayed, it should really, I mean, it's gonna expose the beans more than what it was before. So they're gonna be definitely more vulnerable to deer browse, especially because the neighbor's field, that field's all corn, and those fields over there are all corn. The closest bean fields that I know about are across the road, probably about a, a quarter, a little over a quarter mile away so these are the only beans in this whole back area right here because that's our corn too so I mean these things could get over browsed but we haven't had too bad of um, over browsing pressure in the you know previous one or two years so yeah these things are looking pretty good I'll probably update you sometime in August or maybe September when they're at their peak hopefully they get to you know hopefully they grow good enough but I'm pretty sure they will you can tell right here, the, be the beans are really starting to pop out. In another week, they're going to look absolutely beautiful. Well, right here is the soybean food plot at our house. Uh, as you can tell, it looks very weedy. It looks like a field of weeds, really. You can't even barely see the beans, but they're in there. And uh, it's really grown up in like the last one to one and a half weeks, you know. And uh, I'm going to be spraying it today with glyphosate and Explode. I mixed them together. That way I can do it all in one pass. I don't have to drive over the beans as much. 
and uh, yeah, the, I mean, it's hard to see the beans in there, but the beans are doing great. And uh, this explode stuff, I'm per it's definitely working because two years ago when we had beans here, I mean, they got really, really browsed right from the start. And I sprayed the explode right when they were starting to come up. And uh, I mean, I've, I've seen deer browse, but nothing like what it was two years ago. So I'm sure the stuff's working, but by now it's it's long gone, the explode. I sprayed that like probably a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, and we've had a ton of rain, so it's due for another spring. You can see right here is a good example of deer browse on the soybeans. This one right here is nipped off. That one's nipped off. This one and that one's nipped off. The ones that aren't nipped off, you know, are a little taller. So uh, you can tell it's trying to regrow right there. So that's why it's a really good time to get in here and eliminate these weeds. Well, I'm back down here looking at the beans after I sprayed the Explode and Glyphosate mix. And uh, I'm not too impressed, guys. The Explode is supposed to last one to, one to two weeks. And as you can tell right here, a little bit of deer brows. I mean, there's deer brows throughout the whole plot, but it's not like insane deer brows. Those leaves are missing. That one's got a couple missing leaves. Right here on this corner, there's a lot of deer browse that just popped up in the last one or two nights they browsed them down. Right here's a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Those ones are gone. I remember these beans here, they used to be a lot bigger. But, uh, see right here? It's just, the good thing is that they're growing really, really fast right now. They can kind of keep, they can kind of keep up with the deer browse. I mean, the deer browse here isn't insane. These beans are keeping up and probably going to make it fine, but uh, I really thought the explode was going to do its job and keep the deer out of here, you know, until the beans are big enough to handle lots of browse, but I'm not really too impressed with it so far, but I still got some left over, so I'm going to spray it again tonight, and hopefully it keeps them out. Um, the other night I saw a deer coming down here. And I've shined down here at night and there's deer down here once in a while. So uh not this corner right here got browsed pretty pretty badly too. You can tell all these ones are stunted. All these ones are trying to grow back. <clears throat> but uh yeah, I'm not really too impressed. I sprayed this plot twice already. Right here's some more that have been browsed off. But uh yeah, I thought it would have been a better product, but I guess not. I probably won't be buying too much of it in the future. Just simply because it costs so much and really is not really not really getting the results I want, I guess you could say. But uh, the, the glyphosate tips job, man, look at that. It's just wiped out everything. But that um, explode. You can tell this is all new deer brows in here. And I only sprayed it, it would have been five days ago. So, I mean, that, that stuff should still be on these, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm not really too impressed with it. I'm gonna spray it again tonight, and I'll update you in another couple days and see if you know if I see if I see any more deer down here and see if there's any more deer browse that I can find. But uh, yeah, then I'll probably upload the video. It's getting to be kind of a, a long process and a long video. So, well, back out here checking up on the beans. This is gonna be the final update in this explode video, and uh, kind of the overall. Um, ending result too I'm going to talk about what I think about it and basically the stuff I mean for the money it's not really worth it I don't think I forgot what I paid it was later on a hundred bucks for that two and a half gallon jug and I, I sprayed quite a bit of stuff with it you know multiple times I think I sprayed this pot like three times but and since I'm just at home here I mean this food pot's like literally 150 yards from the house maybe closer to a hundred anyways. So I check with our uh, flashlight, our big flashlight, I check from the um, dining room windows every single night once in a while. Sometimes I don't. Other times I shine down here like two or three times. Last night I actually saw three deer. There was one bedded right um, on the edge of the woods, kind of in that grass. And there was two that were feeding 
around on the food plot, all does or fawns from last year anyways. But it seems like when I spray this stuff, it, it's good because before last night, I didn't see anything, you know, for at least two or three days because there wasn't any rain. But it seems like as soon as we get some rain, it, wa it washes it right off. But it says it's, the rain's not supposed to wash it off and it should last anywhere from, you know, one and a half to two weeks, you know, the spring each spring so I'm not really too impressed with it um, I sprayed it on two different plots out at the farm where we plant all kinds of food plots that's mainly where most of our other videos come from but uh, yeah I'm not really too impressed with it I sprayed this stuff with my backpack sprayer with explode just straight explode I walked through the food plot sprayed everything good and that was only a couple days ago like three or four days ago and I'm still seeing brows everywhere you can tell like that area right there is a little bit thinner because a lot of those beans have been browsed off and they're trying to regrow now. Where there's like a circle right there, it looks really good. And kind of that area over there, it looks pretty good. Those ones weren't really ever really browsed that badly. And this little cluster of the ones I'm standing in right here look pretty good too. But then you look like right over there and then like kind of in there and all basically from here up, it's pretty thin. And then you see one like this. This big one right here, he's actually looks like he might be putting off some flowers for the pods already. Like that's what they all should look like. He hasn't been touched or nothing. So, uh, or like this one, you can see where this one's been browsed off and he regrew a lot of these ones. So, yeah, like I said, that deer was bedded like right over there last night. And there was two of them like right around here. So they're at, they're in here probably almost every night. So this is a bigger one that's, you know, been nipped off right here. Could have been from last night. Who knows? But uh, this side of the plot's just thinner in general because, you know, it's doesn't get as much sun here as that side. That's basically the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and all the other videos I'm putting out this year. I'm trying to get as much content out as possible, but it's been a little hard this year so far. But yeah, yeah, this was a kind of a dis disappointing uh, result, this explode spray. I'm probably not going to buy it in the future. Um, I don't think it really did a whole lot. It might have helped a little bit, you know, like right after you spray, like one or two days. But after that, I don't think it really did much. So yeah, I really wouldn't recommend this product unless you really, really want to try it out. Yeah, so I guess I'll see you next time, guys, whenever the next video comes out. So. See you then.